Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Orphan Last, and today I'm going to uh, talk about the interface that's inside of Open Tunes and uh, all that good stuff. Now, it's really easy for you to jump into Open Tunes and wonder what the hell am I looking at? And after this video, you're still going to be thinking that, but you're going to be a little less hesitant about screwing the interface up. Um, at least, like, when I first opened OpenTunes, I felt like, oh, what are all these tabs? Like, oh, man, like, it, it's like this is a different program than, than this, and this is a different program from this. Who has time for all that? And that, I just want to reassure you, that's not the way it is. Um, there are a lot of elements that are on this, on this tab, or room, as it's called in uh, Open Tunes. Uh, th there are a lot of tools in this room that are in this room. Okay? For example, um, this is called the X sheet. Okay? This, this right here is called the X sheet. This thing that I'm looming around, the one that says column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4, and has all of these. Uh, Levels. That's what the, it's called. I'll get into that later. Okay. Now, every like everything on the interface can be snapped and unsnapped. Okay. Like literally everything, including the viewer. Okay. Like everything can be snapped and unsnapped. Um, and I'm just proving it to you. Okay. the whole interface, like including this as well. Like literally everything can be snapped and unsnapped. So the this is the X sheet. I go up into the cleanup room and the X sheet is right here. I go into drawing. Well I have the level strip and the level strip is in in my basic uh, tab. Okay? So you know level strip. The style editor. The style editor is Let's see here. Oh, uh, I, I changed the organization of this a little bit. Uh, this is the style editor, I believe. Or, or not. I don't know. Yeah. Um, style editor. Anyways, you, you get the idea. See, here's another X sheet right here. And here, this, the room is called X sheet. This is a gigantic X sheet. That's what this is. Um, the browser, really important. I use this a hell of a lot more than I do file open and, and all that stuff. Like this is, this is invaluable. The farm, I don't see me using this unless I'm working with a studio where my computer is networked with a bunch of other computers. At least that's how I understand the farm as working. But I'm not going to delete it because I don't see a reason to. But that's something else. Okay. If I go onto one of these rooms and then I right click and select new, it creates a room called room. Now if I double click on this room and call it hello, it's, I literally have a room called hello. But it's empty right now, okay? So I can just go ahead and uh, just, okay, I can just go ahead and uh, select the viewer and snap it in, okay? And then I can go to the X sheet and I can just, well, okay, I'm not going to do that yet. Um, I can go, let's see here, let's go to the palette. I don't mind having the palette snap into here. Okay, and I can go ahead and snap on the X sheet and uh, window level strip. I'm going to put on the level strip and then I'm going to go window and go to toolbar. Okay, and I can go ahead and snap it on there. Window, let's see, uh, tool option bar, right on. Let's go ahead and Put that 
Actually, I don't like it right there. Let's put it right there like that. That's perfect. Um, and okay, let's unsnap this, and then snap it back down. Now, if I go all the way down, you can see the green line goes all the way through the screen. And then if I lift up ever so slight, oops, I if I lift up ever so slight, it won't interfere with my X sheet or my level strip. If I if I drag all the way down, like it will interfere with my X sheet and level strip. And I don't want that. So I'm just letting you know that see, it's not interfering. I can go ahead and lift this up and it's not get obstructing the view uh, to my X sheet and level strip level strip X sheet now let me show you something kinda cool this room that I just created is almost exactly the same room as this like okay it has a studio palette if I want the studio palette window let's see studio palette studio studio palette right there alright now it's literally the exact same room. It's an absolute carbon copy. Um, if I lifted this up, moved it, see, it's the exact same room. So you, there's no reason to feel intimidated by there being, uh, like, where you, you, there's no reason to be intimidated if you accidentally go like that and you're interacting with it and then you accidentally close it. You can easily just go into here and let's see here, level strip and then snap it into place. Okay? And the reason why OpenTunes has these rooms is because it's it, uh, it's kind of like having a tabbed interface with Photoshop and it's, it's really convenient in my opinion. Um, and it's, it's so that you don't have a whole bunch of things that are competing on the screen. So technically speaking, you could easily just, you know, delete all of these rooms. I would recommend not getting rid of browser and farm just because, well, I, I could make a, a new room and make it a farm window. Well, not a farm. Make it a browser, file browser. And now it's literally the exact same room as the browser. Um, but like... I would recommend having a browser room and uh, uh, at least one other room. But the problem with that is that if you're going to be like, let's say you need to have, uh, let's see, ch -ch 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 schematic. Okay, now the schematic is pretty damn useful. Uh, and then let, let's say you need to use another schematic, okay? Now, notice how it says, okay, stage schematic, stage schematic. You press down on this lower right corner. Now this changed to FX schematic, and this is stage schematic. After a while, you wind up with so much crap competing for screen space and wanting to snap onto things that just it becomes such a pain in the ass. I would recommend working with rooms. Now, in order to, del to delete a room, you select a room that is not the room that you want to delete. And you right click the room you want to delete and then you say delete room okay let's do that all right so uh, we've talked about how the rooms what you can do with them and that it's not like you have to learn a completely different program from one tab to the other they're all showing the exact same thing and they're all showing tools that are available for any other room that's what we covered and uh, so I hope you liked the video. I hope it was informative. I know you can't animate at this point in time just with this information. But these are little preliminary bits of information that I feel you need to know about the program before you actually start cracking it open and trying to animate and get yourself in trouble and wondering, what is this room? What is this room? What, what do I do with all this? I want you to know that all of this is the exact same thing. Anyways, you all take care. Have a good day.